I'm going to quickly show you around Site3D's user interface. Let's open a project. Now the first view that comes up is the plan view. This shows you your top-down view of your design items, your layouts and your surveys. At the top we have two toolbars. The first toolbar is uh, will have things like open, saving and printing, as well as undos, layers and your 3D view. You notice as you hover over an icon it shows the display tooltip. To the right of those we have the snaps and the construction line tools. The second toolbar is our designing toolbar and this will have the options for roads or center lines. So you click on that one it'll come up with all the tools relevant to that and footways and driveways, drainage and even things like simple sectioning tools. Loading the 3D view will split the view down the middle and show both views at the same time. If you want to navigate around either view, the middle mouse button in the plan view will pan the plan view around and the scroll wheel will zoom in and out. On the 3D view, the middle mouse button will rotate around this black line, both around in an in orbit view. The left mouse button will pan and the uh, scroll wheel will zoom in and out. Loading up a long section of a road will bring up a, a third view which has its own toolbars. So here we can actually save out this one view and we can also print it and also change from the centerline tools we're in at the moment to things like the drainage tools. So we can change the mode that we're in and edit different items on this view. Loading up a second long section creates a second tab. So here we can see the two long sections that we have open at the same time and we can just change from one to the other. Should you want to view both at the same time, you can undock one or other tab by right clicking on the tab and clicking undock tab. That will split that one view out into its own window, which you can reposition. And if you have multiple monitors, you can even drag that onto another view and maximize it by dragging it to the top. If you want to restore it down, click the restore down button there and it'll resize it back to what it was before. To reintegrate this one, right click on the bar here and hit redock panel and it'll bring it back into Site3D with a new tab again. If you want to split out all of the, uh, the long sections you've got here, if you right click on the bar at the top of that view and hit undock panel, it'll split out all of the tabs into one window, which you can then do exactly the same and either resize or drag this onto a new screen. If you redock uh, re by right clicking that one and hit redock panel, it'll bring it back in as well. Loading up cross sections will create a uh, fourth view here, but it overlays it with the same view as the 3D view. So if you want to go back to your 3D view, click that tab, and then you can go back to your cross section view if you just click that tab. And again, you can right click and undock those tabs and right click and undock the entire panel if you want to. To resize these views, there are grabber bars in between them. So this grabber bar will shift between the cross section and 3D view and the plan view. And you can see it's resizing both views at the same time. And if you want to resize the long section view here, you grab that grabber bar and move it up or down. And you can see it resizes all of the views relatively. If you want to maximize the uh, 3D view, cross section view, or the long section view, there is a bar at the top. If you just double click that one, it'll maximize it into that view and double click it again to bring it back down. So if you want to maximize the 3D view, you can either double click that bar or as the same with the other one, there is a, a few buttons on the side which you can maximize there and minimize the same way. Opening up a, another file, like a survey in this case, will create a new project. And you can see we've got a, 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 a new toolbar up for that one project. You see this time we only have the one view open uh, because that's all we have open in this project. If I go back to the other project, the one I loaded previously, it has remembered the views that I had open and all the tabs as well. And you can see it's actually now reshowing them again. But if I go back to the previous tab, it hides them as well. So you can change your projects nice and quickly this way. Thank you.